Hello everyone, welcome to Osiris New Dawn. My name is Jeff Aviano and we're going to be doing a first look of this game today. I got to play this game hands on uh, at PAX West and I got to talk with the developers and I got to play it. It's pretty awesome. It's a mixture between, uh, you know, I would say Subnautica or something along those lines as well as No Man's Sky being that you are out here and uh, pretty much crash landed on a planet right now and uh, all that good stuff. And we have to build ourselves a little colony here uh, and do certain missions. So we're just going to do a first playthrough. Let's hit enter here uh, with the mouse. The enter button did not work when I did that. And this game just came out today. Like literally a couple hours ago, this thing came out and uh, absolutely thrilled to be playing this. Uh, whenever I met with those developers uh, at PAX, uh, they hooked me up with a Steam key to check this game out. I'm really excited to bring it to you. Let's get started. Single player. Faction. United Nations of Earth. The United Nation of Earth is a globalized coalition of nations cooperating to make mankind a multi-planetary species. Members of the UNE have access to all the latest technology and inherently work together to colonize the solar system. So you can do UNE or the Outlanders. The Outlanders are a band of space pirates who treat space as an ungoverned lawless territory. Outlanders are great at surviving on their own or in small groups and are extremely resourceful, especially with the resource prospecting and domesticating indigenous alien species. Well, we're going to go with the UNE. That kind of colors me a little bit of uh, my personality. So we're going to go with that. I'm going to be a scientist. We're on the special technology uh, industry. If you want to focus on spacecraft and rockets, this is your calling. You'd be a Marine currently unavailable, currently unavailable for an engineer and a ranger. So eventually we'll be able to unlock those. We're going to be a scientist. And we can customize our scientist. We can change his color uh, primary to, ooh, I like the orange. That's pretty cool. But let's go with the, let's go with the classic uh, NASA color style there. There we go. Let's go with, yeah. Oh, let's make that white as well. There we go. And the glow to be, hmm. Yeah, we'll go with that. That's fine. Name. I'll put my name. Jeff. Oop. Faviano. Beautiful. Create them. Single player campaign. Planet Proteus 2. Or Proteus. I don't know what it is. Single player is perfect for practice and learning your character's tools. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, we can create our own universe rules by adjusting the setting. So aliens. Oh, infested. Eh, let's keep it on that. Let's keep everything pretty much to normal. This is what I did when I played the demo at PAX. So I don't see that any reason to change that. Universe is called Osiris. You can change it and name it whatever you want to. I'll call it the Osiris 2. How about that? That's pretty uh, scientific of us. <laughs> Let's go ahead and launch and jump in. Nice UI here. Uh, as you can see, we are on version 0.912. It says at the bottom left there. And uh, you're seeing it's starting to build the universe. Uh, multiplayer comes after that. This has multiplayer. I'm excited to start playing that. Uh, and now we're in the planet structures, machines, all that good stuff. And here we are. Proteus 2, third moon of the Theseus Prime, day one. So we're on the third moon of the planet, and we have crash landed, and we already have what appears to be something terrible there. Inflatable dome kit. We want that. We're going to pick it up. Critical breach. We need to take care of that stuff immediately by patching ourselves up with seven. Uh, I believe this tab opens this up. Yeah, patch tape. We can put that over here if we want. We can put that on a slot that works. I have to remember how to use it exactly. Inflatable dome kit. All right, we need to patch ourselves up because we just crash landed. Uh, I thought you could just do it with seven, but I guess I'm wrong on that one. Four. There it is right there. We'll use that. There we go. Three. That's what it was. I was looking at seven over there. I meant three because <laughs> that's what the patch tape was. Uh, here's our, our little chisel here and a multi-tool to build stuff with. And here is our map. Uh, we know that that's a hostile creature over there, so we're not going to mess with him too much. Uh, we need to build the inflatable dome kit or structures right there. And we want to move it. Let's get an... Oh, there's our helpful drone. Let's put it back. Whoa, dude, that's so loud. Uh, I like it right there. Yeah, let's confirm that build right there. Beautiful. 
hold the action button and we will build the dome. And what do we got? Object built. Fantastic. That was our mission. Press V to toggle camera perspective. So you do have a third person view if you'd like uh, to use that as well. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, v is to change back to first person. I'll probably play this in first person. There's a bed there. This is where we want to uh, save. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. We did what we were supposed to do there. Repair, customize. Look at that. Pack up. We need to repair. You can repair stuff with the F key. Pretty cool if it needs it. All right. That's our little helpful uh, buddy there. The Osiris mission personal assistant. We need to find a survival kit. I assume it's this. Yes, it is. Open the survival kit. All right. And look what we got. We got baked potato. We've got steamed carrots. Glass container for water. Uh, we've got more water. We'll move all this stuff into our uh, backpack here. Bandage. We'll need that. And there's the medikit. We're going to need that. Oh, we can just hit take all as well if you want to. But uh, all right. Structures. You got these are the different structures we can do. Habitat, airlock, barracks, biodome, hallway, laboratory. You can kind of connect it all together. Uh, you have different utilities. Forge, depository, large solar panel, beacon, O, flag, large gas tank, marker, small gas tank, and a large satellite. And furniture inside our dome. We can do a chemistry table, a fabricator, oxygenator, uh, bed, climate controller, computer desk, couch, storage locker, crates, and kitchen. Shower and water reclaimer. Pretty neat stuff. You can do a ton of things. We can close all that out. Find an ammo box because we are out of ammunition and we need a gun. And I assume it's going to be nearby here. There it is over there, I think. Yep. And we hit shift to run. There we go. Open the ammo box. Take all. Yes, sir. Let's put that uh, multi tool and all that. Well, let's put these on the other ones. We got five. Oh, those are not unlocked yet. We have to get a better uh, backpack or, or, or a thing unlocked. So patch tape, we can put that in here in our backpack. Uh, we'll put our multi pool, multi pool, multi tool in the backpack. We'll put a chisel on three. So let's go pistol on one, assault rifle on two. So these, I think you just pretty sure you just drag and drop them on there if you need them. I don't remember. Uh, it probably tells me right here. Ammo magazine for the assault rifle. It is automatically used when reloading. Oh, okay. If stored in backpack. Beautiful. That's what we want. So now we have a blaster. And if we hit two, we have our rifle. And we're going to need it. All right. Search for minerals to build a forge. Well, let's do that. Uh, I don't know if we want to go after that guy right off the bat. Is our little buddy going to go with us? Let's ask him to go with us because he has cannons on him and whatnot. And he can help us out. All right. Hey, you. No, you. Uh, follow me, okay? Thank you. And look how beautiful this is. There's the uh, sun there. We have a planet there, a planet there, planet there, a planet there. Or I know, I think we're on one of the moons. Yes, these are multiple moons of this planet right there. That's what I meant. Not, not they're not planets themselves. Ooh, we have plenty of ore and stuff over here, and that's what we have our chisel for. We're gonna kind of stay away from that alien over there. I mean, we'll, I'm sure we're gonna come across some that we need to. What's really neat is the, uh, as you can see right there, we're using our our little boosters. If I hold spacebar, we can jump pretty far with it. It's pretty amazing. Uh, all right, we have some aluminum. Uh, aluminum. <laughs> Let's go ahead and open the chisel up. I think we can just click that and get it. Uh, iron here. Yep, you can. Let's go back to our first person view so we see what we're doing. Pick that up. Pick it up. Yep. Pick that up. Pick that up. Oh, we got a horseshoe crab looking thing. A larvae skelepod. Well, we need some bug meat possibly or some uh, some alien meat. Is he nearby? Yeah, he's over here. Uh, if I go after him, he's going to come after us. Let's just get back to the, the mission at hand, shall we? Oh, there's gold up there. You see that? The copper. I mean, it looks like gold, but it's copper. Aluminum. Nice. We'll take all this. Yep. We'll take you. We'll take you. Take you. And you just click on that. You don't have to hit F. It still picks it up. All right. Oh, a big old thing of iron here. Need some more. Yep. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. There we go. Wonderful. Picked all that up. That's the copper there. That looks so nice. 
It looks like gold from afar, but hey, it is copper. It is indeed copper. Oh, hello. Let's go over this way. Yep, we'll take you. And pick up all of this stuff that we need. There's the last one. All right, cool. We have, we have a lot of minerals. I don't know how many more minerals we need or how much more we need. Let's get some more iron. I guess you can't go wrong with iron, right? I'm assuming. Dink, 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 dong, dink. Ooh, there's a alien over there too. Or some sort of... Whoa, hello. Horseshoe, horseshoe crab thing. Okay, we got minerals to build forge. I, I assume that this is as much as we need. Yeah, uncovered backpack at 162% capacity. All right, so let's head back to base. If we open up our map, we can see where we're at. I assume that's our base over here. I remember it was by these, uh, these things. Yep, there it is right there. Does it pop up on the map though? That's a question. That is the question. It doesn't look like it does. It's just a general area. We gotta remember that this, uh... Oh yeah, I think it does. It's telling you the distance. Owned by me. Colony channel. All right, search for minerals to build a forge. Well, you we need to build a forge. Let's see what we got here. Can we build a structure? It's probably a forge. No? Oh, there it is right there. Yep. Not enough minerals. We need more titanium. We need titanium and plutonium. We're not even close. Not even close. All right. Well, titanium and plutonium to build the forge. So they are. They're going to have us pretty much run at this. So that's good. Well, we're going to need our weapon for this guy. I have a feeling. Let's just go ahead and fight him so we can get over there. He's probably protecting the plutonium or something. It's iron, 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 aluminum, iron, all that. Yep. Still moving out. Oh, this thing is not going to be too happy with us. Oh, there he is right there. Little shit. Oh. Oh, yeah. There you go, buddy. Thanks for the help. We got him. Thank you. I appreciate that. That was nice of him to help us there. So we can raid the dead creature here by holding or hitting F. Alien meat to backpack. Okay, so we have alien meat. I guess we can eat those things. That's good to know. Aluminum. Man, we are on some actual exploration here. Uh, whoa. Did you just see that? What the hell is that thing? That looks much bigger than what we had before. What is that? That's a big, big bug there. We got this guy. jumped at me quick <laughs> that scared the hell out of me a young crab monster young and hate to know what what the uh, full-grown ones are like all right let's continue this way I have a feeling we're gonna go over there where that is take flight what does that mean I have no it oh flank right oh we can flank that's pretty cool yeah we're gonna head over there where those trees are there might be something up there that we need Hard to say. I wonder if our map helps us with that. I'm going into this not knowing much about it at all, other than what I played at PAX. Uh, there is a early access uh, guide you can read, but I decided to do that, do it this way so we can learn together. Maybe you just got the game and you know you you popped it in and you're trying to figure it out. That thing looks very scary over there. Uh, but for the most part, we're doing all right. We're we're, we're doing all right. I'm going to climb this hill. So yeah, I think this game is like $23. It's early access as most games anymore that come out on Steam or early access. These little urchin things. I, yeah, I don't want to touch them. I think that they hurt, hurt me. I'm pretty positive that they did when I played the demo and I don't want that to be a problem. All right. What do we got over here? Anything? Was it worth our time? I don't see any minerals over here. Do you? I just see a lot of strange things. 
Aha, plutonium. I knew it. I knew it was over here. I had a feeling that that thing was, you know, being uh, protective of something a little bit better than what we had. All right, let's get the chisel out. Well, the problem is we got a bunch of minerals that we didn't need, but I'm hoping that's 166 capacity. I think uh, hopefully that one. I don't know what the capacity is that you're allowed to carry, you know? We'll take all of this from you. Please, thank you. Oh, man. And once your backpack starts to get full, it gets harder and harder to walk. It's so heavy. Holy crap. We're at 232 capacity. Can we get rid of this stuff? I think we can. Yeah, we can get rid of copper and whatnot here. Let's do that. Let's uh, drop that. You know what? What was it the structure needed? It needed, uh, here it is. Iron, titanium, and plutonium. All right, drop that. Iron and plutonium is, is heavy, apparently. All right. How much did we need? We needed uh, 22. We got plenty of that. We need titanium. That's it. All right, dude. Let's go. Nope. No, no, no. You come with me. Nope. Not, not stay. You come with me. Follow me, okay? Thank you, buddy. All right. So now we got to go look. Whoa. I am like flying around like crazy here. Not sure what that's all about. What is that over there? You still coming? Yeah, he is. <laughs> He's still on his way. Oh yeah, we can, we have a big booster. What is this? Iron, yes. So it wasn't too terribly far away. Yeah, we'll take all that iron so we can build our forge. Oh, we are so full of stuff here. All right, what do we got? We have enough now for everything? We should. Oh, iron. We need titanium. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Wrong things here. You probably were just like, no, not that. Drop some of it. There we go. We'll pick some up if we have to. What do we got here? 211 capacity. Did we just pick all that back up again? Uh, 49 to 50. We have plenty of, of the iron. We just need titanium. Okay. I thought it was titanium, but it wasn't. Well, it's, we're so full of crap here, though. We need to drop. Let's drop the alien meat. Let's just drop that. Let's be honest. I'm going to drop that one, too. I don't think we need that much of it. Yeah, we're still good on that. 24. I'm trying to figure what that out. that's all about, too. All right. Let's go this way. Keep our blaster ready to go here just in case things get crazy. I don't know what's happening here. My guy's really sluggish. Severely uncovered. Backpack at 201 per capacity. Oh, man. We're not doing this the right way, are we? And I think that the... I don't think that the... Titanium is going to be on that side. I mean, probably on the other side. Okay, so I'm figuring out you can split how much iron you have. So this is what this is what's been weighing us down is this stuff. And I'm just making sure we have enough for the forge. Uh, we just need uh, 81 and 4 there. So we only need 4. That, and we have 81. In plutonium, we have 10. And we only need 4. So I'm getting that now. It makes a lot more sense. All right. We can drop that one there. And uh, let's get rid of some of this stuff. We only need four of these. Let's split these all up. There we go. How much we got now? We're good. Yeah, we still have plenty of it. We just need titanium. Okay. Back at it. Now we can move again. Another thing you're going to notice is that uh, it's raining. Uh, this ecosystem and everything else, whatever you want to call it, uh, in this game, it has a full weather system, which is really nifty. Let me turn a flashlight on. Let's see. Is it F or L? I think. Yep. We have a flashlight as well. And yeah, let's move away from that guy. I don't like him. Those things are scary whenever they pop up on you like that. That was not very nice of them. Let's go back this way. This is back, back to our home. If we open up our map, we can see. Yeah, it's back that way. Where it's really bright. That seems to be home base. 
Ooh, that's a steep climb. Um, afraid I'm getting a little bit lost. Is this earthquake or something happening here? I think so. You see that? That is craziness. Man, you can get really lost here. Really easy. I'm still trying to figure out how to read the map properly. Still searching. All right, I think we're gonna have to fight another crab monster here. He's kind of hanging out by my house back here. One thing I'm learning we need to build is beacons because when you build a beacon, it pops up on your map. So that's good to know. Well, he's just staying kind of away from us a little bit. Maybe he, maybe it's if we don't mess with him, he won't mess with us. But man, it I tell you what, as soon as the weather changes and it gets crazy out, it, it, it changes everything. It's really easy to get lost. Uh, that's why I wish we would have had a beacon earlier. There's our home over there. We're getting closer. And we need to be able to build a beacon or something for that, but... We'll wait for the weather to clear up and all that good stuff before we go back out. And, uh, make another attempt at finding the titanium that we need. That's what it's all about. It's the titanium. Titanium, titanium. We need to save, too. All right, we'll turn our light off. And we need to go to bed because it is scary out here. It is very scary. All right, very cool. Activate that. We have saved it. Fantastic. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it for this first episode, this first look at Osiris New Dawn. Let me know if you want to see more episodes of this, uh, if you want me to continue a playthrough of it and uh, see what we can do because... You can do amazing things in this game. Uh, you can build spaceships and you can actually visit those other moons and the planet. Uh, it's a full on star system. So <laughs> it's pretty incredible as well as multiplayer options uh, that will be available to us as well. With that said, guys, hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Take care.